don't want anyone to know. You promise you won't tell anyone who's not a waiter? No, of course not, but, but why not? It's someone I know really well. Someone you know? I don't want him to find out that I'm pregnant. So who is it? I'm offering odds of 100 to 1 on Angus, by the way, if you're interested. More family affairs tomorrow night, but because of our special coverage of Arsenal's UEFA Cup game, the hearts will be on parade a little earlier than usual, at 6 o'clock to be precise. How to blag your way into the Sweeney. Do wear a kipper tie. Do not carry a kipper in your back pocket. Nasty. Do drive a Granada gear. Do not fit it out with fluffy dice. Ugh, monkey. Do call your boss governor. Gov, gov. Right, gov. Gov, gov. Do not show him any respect whatsoever. Who the hell do you think you're talking to, Regan? Do you want me to answer that? The Sweeney, next Monday at 9 on 5. Don't muck it up. Some might say the boys from Burnage are the biggest musical phenomenon of the 90s. Part one of Five's profile on Oasis follows a news update. They're never going to get on you. Mm, lamb. They're my favourite. I love lamb too. I'm going to enjoy this. Me too. That was shot in crap. <laughs> Let there be cuckoo. I guess we'll clear up then. A lark and a dove. But first of all... They're never gonna get on, you know. <laughs> Let there be love. On its own or with a little imagination. Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce is the instant marinade for delicious meals. Uh, pay attention, this is an epidemic warning. A strange and virulent affliction is sweeping the country. Please be aware of the following symptoms. Uncontrollable convulsions, a loss of logic and rational thought. A disturbing obsession with gaudy 70s fashions leading to big hair and distortion of speech. For example, if family members or close friends suggest you get hip to the groove daddy or get down with your bad self, they are more than likely infected. In this event, there is only one course of action. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on moonlight. Night fever infecting five, Saturday at 6.50. Be afraid, be very afraid. A special celebration to round off Give Five Week at 7.30, now a news update. It's 7 o'clock, I'm Kirsty Young. Buckingham Palace has issued an unusually blunt statement denying reports of infighting over Princess Diana's funeral. The Queen made it clear that no pressure was put on her over arrangements for Princess Diana's funeral, but did concede that there were some minor disagreements. The statement comes on the same day as the American publication of a new royal biography by the infamous Kitty Kelly. The book won't be published in this country, as its detailed allegations would be libelous. Sinn Féin joined peace talks in Northern Ireland for the first time this afternoon, but the Ulster Unionists were not there. Their party leader, David Trimble, is in discussions with talks chairman, Senator George Mitchell, this evening to decide how the Unionists might take part. A drugs company has taken two slimming drugs off the market following a health scare in America. The move comes after the port linked fenflutamine and dexfenflutamine to heart valve abnormalities in some patients. The site where a U.S. stealth bomber crashed yesterday has been sealed off. The plane veered out of control during an airshow fly, fly past. The pilot ejected safely, but the plane demolished two houses when it hit the ground. However, no one was seriously hurt. 
Women who take hormone replacement therapy may soon have a more natural alternative. A new loaf of bread is on sale in Australia, and some of its ingredients are known to ward off menopause symptoms like hot flushes. Well, on 5 News at 8.30, Mark Eason is going to bring us the latest on the Northern Ireland peace talks. And what does your star sign say about you as a consumer? You can find out. And Lee Wellings will be here with the Pool Sports Roundup. Tanya's on the roof with the weather. How's it looking, Tanya? Looking like a quite pleasant evening again in the south, but it's a different story further north. Cloud and heavy bursts of rain tracking southwards throughout the day or later. That's it. I'm back with another update. There's a bomb on a bus. If it drops below 50, it blows up. What do you do? A Channel 5 movie premiere. Speed. We have a slight situation on the bus here. Keanu Reeves. There's enough C4 on this thing to put a hole in the world. Dennis Hopper. Focus, Jack. Your concern is the bus. Sandra Bullock. Stay on or get off. Speed. No one gets off. Tonight at 9 on 5. Very, very exciting. Tonight, my guests are Soap Queen Barla Windsor, football pundit Andy Gray and popsters Cash. So join me for 40 minutes of comedy chat action right after Speed. Vroom. Let's go behind the scenes with the boys who press everybody's buttons.